Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to tell you what tech devices you need in 2023. So I don't divide this into three categories, and I think that these are the tech devices that people use the most in their daily life. I do. And I believe I'm not the only one. So this is why I decided to make this video for you. So like and subscribe and what up for this direction. Let's get into the video. A little disclaimer as usual is that everything that I'm gonna say in this video is personal opinion. This is what I think about these devices, how I'm using it, and technically my point of view about these items and how I am using them in my daily life. And that's why I recommend you everything that I'm gonna say today and you're free to share your opinion in the comments down below and I would love to hear what you think about this. As I said in the beginning, I'll divide this video in three categories and the first one is a phone. Which is the right phone for you? As I have said many times, I am using the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The reason why I upgraded was mainly the battery. I have drained my last iPhone to 74-76% I'll say 75 in the middle because I really don't remember, but it was somewhere there. Now my dad is using it. I would like it if he changed his battery, but that is his decision. The phone is not mine anymore. He is only using it to check on social media and he does it after he comes from work. So technically he doesn't spend much time on his phone. And I don't think he needs that big of a battery, but it would be good for him because, well, after all, this phone has been used. It's in a pretty good condition, like brand new, no scratches or anything. I keep my devices, but the battery is a little bit drained. The other reason why I updated my phone was a little bit because of the camera updates that this phone has. As you probably know, I have said it many times on this channel, I film my videos on my iPhone. And I do need a little bit better camera quality. But if you're a person who just scrolls through social media, like posts like on Facebook, Twitter, doesn't post high quality videos, even maybe an iPhone XS is still good for you. This is a good phone. I don't know if people buy it anymore because it's a little bit old, but if you only scroll through social media and call people, what else do you need the phone for? Well, if you're a person who likes to post high quality videos and basically has dedicated himself to posting social media through a phone, you might need the best of the best. I watch one YouTuber. She literally buys the best of the best, aka she buys a one terabyte iPhone, but she posts a lot of content through her phone, not only like through her other devices. So she said she needs the best of the best because of her content creating. Otherwise, even a basic phone, it will be good for her and for everybody else. So it really depends on what you're using your phone about. If you post high quality, let's say videos and pictures, you might need to upgrade the storage as well because that is eating up space literally yesterday uh classmate sent me a lecture it was six gigabytes i don't know how this happened i trimmed the part when the teacher was not talking in the beginning until he started the lecture and i down it to one gigabyte which was very good for me because i didn't have storage so it wasn't even high quality so imagine if a high quality video you get it on your phone how much storage this thing will get so really think about what you're gonna use your phone for before buying it Second category is an iPad slash tablet because iPads are still tablets. So do you have an iPad or a tablet in general and what are you using it for? Comment down below. Here is the well-known iPad that I have. I have shown it to you many times in this video. It's a green iPad Air, 64 gigabytes, Wi-Fi only. I didn't know when with a cellular version because I always bring it to places where there is there is connection or I use my mobile data. So here it is, it's still working. There are a little bit of scratches here. Like in the beginning I thought this was the iPad, then I realized that's the case. Thank God for that. I barely, I don't even take it out of the case, honestly. Once, you, once or twice to clean it, but that's it. So what I'm using my iPad for? Simply this iPad is used for taking notes. I literally don't do anything else. I have one, two games. I wanted to test because I never played games on a tablet before. I had one as a kid, but it was, I don't know if it was cheap or not, but it was a very basic version, but it was, I was so excited, like, yay. If you haven't watched it, check out, I made the video comparing my old iPad. Technically it's a tablet, it's not even an iPad, 
but it looks like an iPad honestly they try to make the design looking like one versus my current one and I only take I have filmed videos on this device as well I have to say and they're not that bad all the videos that you keep seeing me showing you my phone no matter if it's the one that I'm using now or my old one were shot on this iPad because I don't have a camera the reason why I don't have a camera is because I didn't want to buy it I thought it was unnecessary so good to say is that you can use your tablet to film videos if you want a high quality videos again you're a video creator like you want to edit videos probably have to go with an iPad Pro or more intensive processing device I have read a couple of websites which they make charts and all of them agree that the iPads are still leaders in this category no matter if you're using the Pro, the Air, the regular or the Mini iPads are still good devices I love watching unboxing videos and many people say they're using it for video editing, taking notes like me if you're a student no matter at university or at high school or they use Procreate their artists so it really depends on what you're using your iPad for for me for taking notes this is a good iPad I didn't pick the mini because they were just a little bit smaller and this one looks more like a notebook but despite that I don't need my iPad for anything else and this is why I chose to buy this one Last but not least, and the third category is a laptop. Here is my laptop. This is a Lenovo IdeaPad. I have this red Spider-Man sticker here. And uh, I like it that it's so thin though, compared to the previous one that I had. Like this thing is so light and I just love it so much. What I'm using this for is to edit the videos that you're watching right now. This is shooting 4K 24 pixel per frame. I don't know if it's that high quality. Comment down below, do you like the quality of this video or not? Because for me, it looks good now as I'm filming this, but I don't know what do you think is. Once I upload these videos on YouTube, I don't watch them because it feels weird watching yourself. Like many people might do it. I don't. Other thing that I'm using my laptop for is to screen record my lectures because before tests, they become very handy dandy to rewatch them again if I haven't understood something or just have questions. Well, if I still don't understand it, I will email the teacher, but well, they're useful also for all my classmates who are working and don't have time to join and watch the lectures. Like they watch these screen recordings, which are very useful and they do take some space. This laptop has one terabyte solid state drive, which is, I have to say it's enough for me because I don't do that many things. Also, when the semester finishes, I delete these lectures because I don't need them anymore and just start screen recording for the next semester, which will be the next year. All the reason that I'm using this laptop is to write my stories on Dream. Technically, I'm using an online browser, like I'm writing them online on a website, but I do save them as a Word document because the story which I'm uploading now in the drafts, I am writing another story, which probably will get uploaded like four or five months later because they have other stories finished already. And this is why I have to save them, but this is text. It doesn't need that much space, honestly. They are not that big, so this folder is pretty small. The ones with the video lectures was... I checked it and it was 21 gigabytes of storage, which is not that big, but it's still a lot and these are the three main reasons like video editing screen recording my lectures and writing why i use my laptop if you're a gamer this definitely won't probably do the work for you i have played league of legends i'm a terrible player but i have played it so it's really smoothly it is okay but if you want to push the limits probably you need to get a better laptop and again we're getting to the point where Buy a device by the purpose for what you need it, not because it's by a brand or something else because it's not worth it. Okay guys, that is your video. Hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below which of the three devices that I mentioned today you use the most. Your phone, your tablet if you have one, or your laptop. Personally, I think I use... I'll say my laptop because it's always turned on. Now I showed it, it was closed, but actually it's in sleep mode. I didn't turn it off because I have to edit this video there. And also I have other work to do in the afternoon. So I will say it's my laptop, but I use my phone as well. Because right now I'm filming this video on it. So technically I am using it. 
but the reason why i buy the devices that i have is for the purpose that i need them so that's why i would recommend you like check the prices first because if you can buy the same device just uh, maybe buy a different brand but a little bit cheaper like it really depends on what you're using your device for like as i said i use my phone to film videos my ipad to take notes and my laptop to edit and write and screen record so this is why i have these devices technically the phone was my choice it was a gift the ipad was the only thing i bought with my own money and the laptop was a gift but i totally like it because it's so light and i just love that it doesn't wait as my previous one so that's the video for today i hope you enjoyed it please give it a big old thumbs up like this video share comment and subscribe i'm gonna see you next time bye guys